Hey, it's Sydney and welcome to my spring trend guide. So I love doing this series with you guys so much. In case you're new, basically what happens is I head to Fashion Week, break down all the hottest trends, and then bring you outfit ideas on how to wear them at home. So make sure to subscribe. There's a new video every Thursday and today is all about animal prints. Animal prints are everywhere. Seriously, like everywhere you go, there's a snake or a leopard. Well, not a real one, but a printed one at least. So there's so many ways to wear them. Animal prints were big for fall. So if you have those pieces, it's a great way to transition into spring. And I'm going to show you some outfit ideas on how to do those transitions, starting with a leopard top and leopard skirt. The reason I did a leopard top and a matching leopard skirt instead of a dress is you have so many styling possibilities when you go with separates. So one way I like to wear them is together. So it gives the feel of a dress. I just added a cool chain belt. I'm finally getting around to watch that Versace series. So I feel like I'm very inspired by Donatello recently. And then just a simple black sandal on bottom. Now let's show a way to do just the skirt. So what I love about the skirt is you can wear it more casual. During fashion week, I wore it with a sweater when it was really cold out. And now that it's warmer, I'm doing a t-shirt. I did it cropped, but you could do just a plain t-shirt tucked in. Just added a little denim jacket and then some sneakers. And if you notice, there's some animal print on my sneakers as well. Now let's swap the skirt for the top. I love a good camisole. I live in them. I have so many in my closet. And I thought the cow neck of this one was fun. The spots add a little something extra so speaking of extra, I did a gold belt with my jeans, but you could just do a basic denim as well. And then I kept on the same black sandals as when I styled it as a dress. For a more casual look, I ditched the gold and instead added white. So white is a great way to soften an animal print as you go into spring. Just did a long white cardigan and some white booties that I cannot stop wearing. Moving on to an animal print button down. A button down is such a classic staple that you can really have fun with prints. So you can do tiger, you can do zebra. Here I did snakeskin because it kind of matched my hair. So I loved the monochromatic vibes. And like I said in the last outfit, white is a great way to soften an animal print. So here I'm taking an animal print to the office. Yes, you can wear animal prints at the office, even snakeskin. So to make it more conservative, I turned it into a suit look. So I added a white pair of pants, a white blazer. These actually are not from the same brand. I mixed and matched and then kept it neutral with a nude pump on bottom. If you have more of a casual office vibe, you don't need the blazer. You can also just do the button down with pants. Another casual way to wear a button down is with a denim skirt. I did white again. Like I said, I really like softening the animal prints with white. And then on bottom, I just did a tan booty to lengthen my legs. If bold prints aren't your thing, you could also do animal print accessories. You can do bags, belts, shoes, hair accessories, and even earrings. So take this snakeskin bag for an example. It really adds an extra element just in a t-shirt and jeans. Another way I love doing animal prints is with belts. So I have this big snakeskin belt. I just added it over a black blazer to cinch my waist and it gives more of a polished vibe. Animal print shoes, huge this season. I did a leopard pump to carry me over from fall into spring. I also have leopard sneakers that you saw earlier in the video. You can do snakeskin, anything goes. Another way to add a print is with a scarf. This one is actually attached to a scrunchie, so it makes it really easy to tie it in your hair. It just makes a ponytail extra fun. And then you can always play with jewelry. How fun are these snakeskin earrings? So I hope you guys enjoyed those outfit ideas. If you want some more ways to wear animal prints, you can always check out my leopard trend guide that I did in fall. A lot of the outfit ideas are great for transitioning as well. And I'd love to see how you are wearing your animal prints at home. So throughout this series, we use the hashtag SS trend guide. When you upload your photos to Instagram, just tag at Sydney summer SS trend guide. And I share my favorite trend girls of the weeks over on Insta stories and my weekly newsletter. Make sure to subscribe because I will be back next Thursday with a brand new trend guide. Bye guys. I got it, I bought it, I curled it, I spot it. Accessories and even earrings. Tim just gave me the thumbs up. I got the thumbs up because I can't speak today. I finally spoke like a human being.